How old is Goose? Uh, Goose is about 11 years old. She is uh, owned by a lovely young lady in Alexandria, Virginia. She is a competition horse, um, very good at what she does. The horse standing behind her is Ivy. Let's say hello, Ivy. Paul Turner knows these horses well. He runs the Marble Ridge Equestrian Center. It's a 24-7, 365-day-a-year operation. It's not just a turnkey operation. I mean, there is, um, there's a lot that goes into scheduling and programming, you know, and keeping horses healthy, keeping them, you know, fit, keeping them ridden. You know, uh, one of the things that we try to do here at the system, one of the things that's very important to me is to establish a routine. You may know about horses in the state because of Pimlico and the Preakness, but that's not the only place where the horse industry exists. In fact, it's all over the state. There are about 100,000 horses in Maryland, and about 25% of that is the thoroughbred industry. But that encompasses not just the racing aspects, but the breeding, and then also when horses are retrained for other uh, disciplines after their racing careers. The numbers attributed to the Maryland equine industry are staggering. According to the Horse Council, some 28,000 jobs are tied directly to horses. It doesn't include personnel who support these farms, from the veterinarians to the farmers who provide the hay. Did I mention this group delivers about $78 million annually in tax revenue? The, the total impact, uh, according to the American Horse Council, is about um, $2.1 billion in um, economic impact on the state. The council is well aware of recent criticism. Animal rights activists have pointed to the death of racehorses and farms whose conditions are unsafe. The industry wants to change that narrative. In Prince George's County, I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.